Hi everyone. We're getting ready to start part two of our confirmation retreat where we are focusing on the Christian life of service to our community. And what you'll hear in this next section are um, reports from your fellow confirmands about the service that they've completed uh, since our last session in October. And I hope that you'll be inspired by the work that's been done. And if for some reason you haven't had a chance to do the work, um, there are always lots of opportunities. Uh, there are lots of ways to serve God uh, in our parish, in our neighborhoods, in our schools. Um, and so I hope that something will inspire you as you move forward. And remember that this is not just a one-time um, a one-time opportunity for you to serve others who are in need. This is really meant to be the start of your um, mature life as a Christian, um, in which we're dedicated to those who are less fortunate than ourselves, and to help those with the resources, the care, and the love and support that we can give from our hearts. That would be a great idea, since all of us had to do some kind of Yeah. 
Did you listen? Did you get a chance to see some of the people that you gave it to? Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? What? How did that go? When, when oh, they it was good. It was, like, it was good to see people like, like, yeah. that they're like happy they like it too. Great. Yeah, that's good. Um, I help with Courtney in the children's ministry uh, on Sundays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big job, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Oh, okay. cool. um, I like painted boxes for Nosh, and then I also help decorate the cookies and prepare food like Lucy, Piper, and Davis. Did, did you all save me some cookies? What? Did you save me some cookies? No. <laughs> no, I was doing something outreach, like, you know. Um, so I did the preparing food two times, one time with Taylor, and then another time with them three. Um, and then I also made cookies. Yeah. Cookies? Yeah, and they were really good. For the Valentine's, oh, for the that hurts. Yeah. Yeah. That hurts. Hey, um, I think I did, like, the... This one's good in is that? That was it, so thank you. So yeah. this one's the ministry is where we took the tote bags to the transition house. The reason why the tote bags are important is it's they're not homeless, they're living in temporary housing. They have one room, they share a bathroom, and they don't come down like the shelter. Remember how we used to think oh, yeah. everybody? This yeah. is a different situation. So they, Eric, who met Brian, put the tote bag on the door handles so oh. they get home from work. They can just relax and have a really nice dinner. So it was a big okay, thank you guys. You really, all you really helped out with that. Mm -hmm. I think I also like how this morning was Sunday school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, and I help Miss Courtney with the outreach wall in her office, and we're going to help with Monday afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
basically just um, seeing it not a lot of people just looks not really happy. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just seeing how fortunate we are. So, um, Charlie, on, on that, I just want to go see too what you're thinking. <clears throat> because when, before you came in, we talked about the definition of a sacrament is an outward and a visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. I mean, it's like a really long sentence, right? But it's something you can see, but that kind of connects with something that's inside. Right? So, Charlie, as you were saying too, and Peter, and the rest of you, I know it's fun, is you can see, right, Taylor, uh, something in someone who needs help. Yeah, you can kind of, you can just see by the way, like, they may not, like, be as, like, representative, and they may not talk as loud, and they may not, like, yeah. be, like, as happy. You can right. Kind of, like, see it in the way you can see it. Yeah. And then the, the inward and spiritual grace part is like, I'm grateful to God that I'm able to give something back, right? Even whatever it is. And so that, what you're doing, and I'm sorry, to do, yeah. because of other people, that's like a sacrament. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's sacramental work. If you're putting like church language on top of something and you're trying to figure out what it is, and while we're here, what we're confirmation is a sacrament, and what you're doing is confirming your faith by these things. And another important thing that I just want to say is that you never know the impact you have. That's yeah. between them, God, because children, you don't always see the children, but when they sit down to that meal that mm -hmm. every family put together and throws in extras, because we can't help ourselves, when the children sit at the table, clearly with the meal that they they know may not have been pushed by the family, they know that somewhere on this planet, people care. Yes. yes. And that is the first step to God if they haven't been taught. They that stays with them, and that just then it catches connects to other things for them. So what you do for one child, yeah. you may not know, but you know that God has appointed. So, Jenna, when we were just coming in, you and uh, Kate London were putting up you yeah. know, here, which is you know, part of the service, is you know, but what I was thinking, you, did you hear Kate? Kate said she's away at school, yeah. right? <clears throat> and one thing she told us guys is that when she's away at school, that somebody at their church connected her with another family uh, for Easter, I think it was, or something. And so, in that sense, Kate was Taylor like the family, Charlie Peter, you know, that you're helping, somebody was helping her. So it doesn't mean that it has to be in the house with a bullet hole in it, you know, or somebody um, that's smoking pot or someone's making bad choices in their life. I mean, those unfortunate things can happen. But we can be in that place where we need help too, right? So that's why the service is so important. Hey, also, um, in the house that I went to, I saw like um, a whippet like, canister. Mm -hmm. Like, I saw, I saw one, and I thought it was the one with the, 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 the other one. Mm -hmm. now, what, so, or was that just something like It's like a, it's like a can of like compressed gas, and you like, and I think I should not have to talk So, about, like, you know what I think? That's a good point. When you see someone doing hot or you see what they, that person's in pain. Yeah. Right. They have it, they don't have a plan. We have a plan. We have the Bible. We have every Sunday's part of the plan. We go, when you're small to Sunday school, then you acolyte, and then you do formation, you do education. We have a plan, the Bible. If that's all you have, the plan's right there. Mm -hmm. People do not have that plan or talk about God. Everyone has a certain amount of pain, small, big, mm -hmm. that you go to addictions to, but the thing is, eventually those addictions don't work and you have to deal with the pain. So by you going to give a tote bag, that yeah. seems so small, but you know what, when you're in trouble and something happens out of the blue that's a kindness, 
That is the way to God. Never underestimate the tiniest spot you can give someone. Or, you know, whatever God calls us in a day to do something big, do something little. So, it's, um, you guys did beautiful work. That's really it was, it was, oh, sorry. No, it was at the house when you go along. So, you live in the little house. Mm -hmm. And you the one to the left of that? Yes. That was where I saw Yes, it was a transition house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a long, long shot. So the guy oh, it had like a little boy. Like yeah, the little boy. Yeah, just a little boy who was there with his mom and his uncle. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Taylor, you get to one point, too. I mean, even with what you guys are talking about, some of the obvious that has needs or making bad choices in their life. But <clears throat> I, I remember they coming to visit you. Oh, I forget. Right? And that was the day you needed help, right? Yeah. And, and then, no, it wasn't just me, but they were, were you had a medical team, you had your family, you had yeah, people that yeah. love you. You, yeah. you certainly did. A lot of prayer. Yeah. And that's, we can be, my point there, I'm sorry, no, is don't. we can be on the boat end of, of that, the receiving and uh, answering. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's part of being the body of Christ, is being there for others. But also, because we're part of that body, we're part of Jesus' experience. Like, Jesus was a human being. Like, we tend to put Jesus really high, and we think of him as that he was God. He was God incarnate on earth. But Jesus was a man. And he experienced a lot of the same kinds of pain and difficulties that all kinds of people go through. And so that's why when he talks about when you serve the least of these, you serve me too. It's the same kind of thing that happens in your service that you've all done. Whether you fed someone, whether you've been compassionate to someone, you gave someone a hug who was hurting, you, you took care of somebody, you were mm -hmm. thoughtful and, and realized that, you know what, not everybody has the life that I have or you know, I might have some privileges that others don't. That's your serving Christ. So that's all of what your service accomplished was for you to participate in that ministry and that life of Christ and serving Christ by yes. serving Christ. I want to just underline what Mother Catherine just said there because <clears throat> other world religions, you know, even non-religious people uh, that we respect uh, as Christians, we do that absolutely respect uh, other world religions and the people who are doing good work. Uh, most human beings want to do good. Uh, I say most. But for to be a Christian is, is what she just said, is we do because Jesus has asked us, called us to do that good work. So on that note, we have some more good work that we can do for others. And Ms. Courtney has a fidget drive project um, that we can all help with at this time. At this time in our program, our confirmands helped Ms. Courtney to put together some fidget packages for children who were dealing with autism spectrum disorder. And um, all of the participants helped to create some beautiful uh, packages for those kids with a fidget inside. Um, so that was our service project that we were all able to complete on this day at our confirmation retreat. Stay tuned for our next session.